Hi everyone, welcome to Unki's Coloring Therapy, and this is Unki. Today's video is about hair coloring with Lucy Lou Vampire Queen from the East Wind Etsy Shop. The medium I used today for hair is very simple. Two shades of grey Sinhan Touch Twin Marker, which is WG2 and WG4, and the black pencil. I found three colored pencils in my stash and I decided to try all three of them and I so I found one with the from dollar store it was like a 10 color watercolor pencils for like dollar 25 and Another one is a Prisma color, and it was also set for pretty decent price, but around twenty dollars for twenty-five sets. And Faber Castell, this this one was like a few dollars at the uh, art store, and and. After I try all three of them, I feel like the end results are quite similar. It just uh, feels more, the other feels more smoother and has a little bit of pigment difference to it. But if you're doing like simple coloring, I don't think it makes a huge different difference for um, the price so that's what I think so I started with a warm grade 2 to find some um, darker areas mid middle tone I guess and uh, leave out the highlights so I have a base tone to um, add some uh, black color to um, add some detail to it and then go over with the warm grade 4 to find some darker areas and I didn't shade out too much on here because um, it's gonna be all covered with the color pencil anyways so I just uh, roughly um, just find some darker areas. That's all I did. If I point out some dots while I'm coloring this, um, what I what I I kept in mind that I would like to bring out and then give more details in some areas that I want to emphasize. And usually it's the front. Like uh, your fa um, bang area here on this case, and the couple curls on the side, and usually the top of the head um, areas or behind the neck. I mean, beside the neck, the darker areas, and I just uh, fill it up with a pencil, so it doesn't stand out as much. So that. I thought that would give more um, in and out for the um, for the piece so I thought yeah I thought to point that out for you so for the strokes I think I would um, start from the dark towards the highlights but leave out the highlights white at first but then after you fill out um, like a hair, like the every stroke is going to look like a, a hair, right? And after you fill out um, the between sketch, um, you will just uh, fill up the highlight part with a really thin line. A couple strokes would be enough. I think that's going to... Uh, connect the whole thing together so 
that's the point I wanted to bring out for the strokes. If you like this video, please like and share and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another video.